climate change not only results in a devastating loss of species, it can also threaten farming, rising temperatures affecting rainfall and seasonal patterns on a global scale. Of course, the impact of uh, the coronavirus and uh, what a possible impact it might have uh, on the agricultural sector. Africa is the most food insecure region with about 256 million people facing undernutrition in 2018. The situation is getting worse in many parts of the continent because of the negative effects of the climate change. The scarcity of food parcels, another sore point for the people of Ditakom. Whilst humanity is struggling through this pandemic and the challenges it has created, we must not forget that crises do not exist in isolation. This pandemic has shown us the flaws in our system and where we are most vulnerable. We see that people from low-income urban areas and rural areas, predominantly black, brown and indigenous peoples, affected most by the lack of food security, shelter and basic resources to live their day-to-day -day lives. We cannot forget all those who are struggling during this pandemic that has posed many challenges to our society. With the climate crisis, inequalities will be exacerbated and pandemics will only become more severe. In the COVID crisis, many people are already struggling to put food on the table. With the climate crisis, we see that an unstable climate threatens food security. As access to clean and drinkable water is already a major issue, increased droughts would only further escalate the problem. Fires and floods will increase in intensity and frequency, negatively affecting our ability to deal with future pandemics. In areas where air quality is poor, People are at a higher risk of health complications from COVID-19, as it is a respiratory disease. In South Africa, many informal settlements are situated in areas where the air quality is poor as a result of mining fossil fuels. Therefore, they are at a higher risk. At a time like this, it is surprising that the proposed air pollution limit reduction has been replaced by a much weaker limit reduction by the government. It has never been more apparent that climate justice is needed to mitigate future crises. To beat this pandemic, other crises and achieve climate justice, we need to build resilience and community through social solidarity. It is our responsibility to ensure that social environmental justice is achieved. For more information and ways that you can help, be sure to follow the African Climate Alliance at African Climate Alliance on Facebook and Instagram, as well as AFRCLM Alliance on Twitter. And the collective movement social media pages here.